I have one of my famous chaos blanks today, and I'm gonna turn that for a comfort pencil kit. Now the comfort pencil kit comes with a little rubber piece at the bottom, a grip. I don't like the grip, we're gonna do away with that, and we're gonna turn this mechanical pencil to fit this beautiful blank. Looking a little more closely at the blank, you can see that it's really not square, which is gonna make it a challenge to drill. So I'm gonna take it over to the bandsaw, and I'm gonna cut away some of these proud areas in hopes that uh, we'll have a little better shot at drilling right down the middle of the blank. After cutting away some of the material that was proud from this side of the blank, it's much easier to see that this blank tapers from the headstock to the tailstock. I had put it in the vise on my drill press and I was preparing to drill down through the center of it. We only have to put a seven millimeter hole, but I got a little bit nervous because if I don't have a good square grip on this blank, it's very easy to drill right out of the side of the blank and I don't want to destroy it. So I thought, what's the best thing I can do? Put it between centers, true it, and then drill it. I didn't true the blank completely round. You know, you can kind of see a flat area there, but if you look, it's nice and true on each side, which I'll be able to grip that in my pin jaws and drill right down through the center of it with the seven millimeter bit. I've chucked up the blank, and just like I mentioned, I have centered it in the pin jaws, and look at this, perfectly smooth, no wobble. I've got a seven millimeter fish bit chucked up. Let's get this blank drilled out. There's our entry hole, and there's our exit hole. Absolutely perfect. Let's get this blank cut to length. I have verified that both tubes in this kit are the exact same length. So let's put one on our blank. Leave just a little bit at that end. Give it just maybe a sixteenth at this end. Let's move the tube here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. I don't think we need to make another mark. I'll get over to the bandsaw and get this blank cut in half. I'm working on several pins all at the same time, so I went ahead and did a mass glue up to save a little bit of time. I did not record the glue up process, but you are looking at the aftermath. All of these tubes have been glued into these blanks with epoxy, and they need to set a minimum of 24 hours, and we'll start turning pins on the next trip to the shop. Well, this turned really nicely. I'm going for a super slim slim line, uh, and I do have a little bit of an issue here. I chose a comfort mechanical pencil kit, and I grabbed my slim line bushings instead of my comfort bushings. Comfort bushings, one of them is larger, uh, so that uh, you know because the trim ring in the middle is a little bit larger, and it allows you to meet that trim ring. So I'm not going to be able to use that kit for this pen. But it's not an issue because I have plenty of slimline kits, so we'll just uh, substitute a fun line, slimline, trim line uh, for that kit, and uh, this should be really nice. I'm going to go ahead and get this blank sanded up. Let's clean our blank real quick. That looks really nice. The CA is finished on this first blank. We're going to get it back on the turning bushings and micro mesh it. Micro meshing did a wonderful job. The blank looks stunning. I just hope I can make the second blank look as good as the first looks. <laughs> That's always the challenge. Blank number one. Blank number two. I found myself a nice chrome slimline kit and we're ready to assemble this pin. Start with our first blank, drop the nib into it, put our bushing for some 
support. Take a look at that. We got a beautiful fit. Let me get a light down here for you. There you go. Wow, that is nice. All right, let's get our transmission. Now it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I do remember we're just gonna put the transmission part of the way in, then we'll add the uh, refill and adjust from there. I'm gonna go right up to the end of the brass. I think I probably need to go to that first little, little indention there, but I don't want to take a chance at overpressing the transmission into the blank. Look at that. That's just, that's perfect. I'm glad we stopped. That is absolutely perfect. All right. Put our trim ring on there. Let's set that out of the way. We will put our cap through our clip. We'll slide that into the back of the pin or the blank. And we'll begin our press. I'm going to press it almost all the way. Then I'm going to stop and I'm going to align. I think I'll align my um, clip right here because I really like that uh, piece of uh, canary wood, I believe that is. Let's press her the rest of the way together. All right. Get that bushing out of there. She looks nice. Now, let's take a look at this. With the pin closed, we're going to align right like that. And take a look at that. Boy, that is nice. Turned out beautiful. I love, love, love my chaos blanks. That You just never know what you're going to get. I really hope you enjoyed today's turn. This was a bit nostalgic for me because slim lines used to be my bread and butter. I made so many slim lines over the years and I love the kit. Um, but what made this one even better is uh, one of my chaos blanks. You know, my chaos blanks have been fun for me. Uh, I don't know if I'm the guy who invented them or not, but uh, <laughs> you know, I sure have uh, had a good time making them. So this was a fun turn. I love the super slim pin. Um, it's just, it, it's so nice for people that, you know, some people like a small pin, some people like a meteor pin, but I'm real happy with how this one turned out. Hey, I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.